Today's conversation is not about bending rules around 1% of the population that is serving our country. This is an opportunity for a quadruple win. Number one, this is about the people of Texas getting a win for high performers, um, culturally competent professionals in your education system, in your medical system, in your mental health system that are coming into this state that want to help you with the provider shortages. Number two, this is a win for those military spouses like me who did not know that we were gonna to come to Texas, but really want the right to continue to build their career to serve your constituents. Number three, this is a win for the state of Texas to be a state that actually models what it means to hold your sovereignty as a state, but also completely change the needs of your state by accepting the amazing talent. And many of them can continue to serve your people, your constituents, and some of the greatest needs by using telehealth. And last, this is a matter of national security. Historically, 82% of your new recruits come from military families, and they are the ones who have watched what we've gone through in two decades of global conflict. There is a mass exodus, a mass exodus. They are leaving because they are not going to come in to a force that makes it this complicated for their family to have a dual income. Service members do not want to continue to pick up their spouse off the floor like my husband did to encourage them to fight for something that is this hard.